I don't know what made me think to come out here at like 90 degree weather, but we're here, so let's enjoy. Ray, ah, quay, what? What? Ray, ah, quay, what? All right, ah, quay, all right, ah, quay, all right, ah, quay, all right, ah, quay, ah, quay. Anyway, I want to come out here and tell you guys that I'm really excited about today's video. I was having a really hard time putting together my video for last week Friday and it's like Monday and I haven't released a video and this is just ridiculous. I've been releasing a video every Friday and I just, I just can't do it. I, just, I can, but I just have to figure out how to schedule it appropriately with my life, my, my insane artist life. Then also having to do these YouTube videos. So guys, just pray for me. We're going to get it together. But to start, what I wanted to do was I wanted to just let you know that the video that I was going to be working on was a video where I was going to take you behind the scenes with my my percussionist, musician, African, West African friend, Adama Bilaru Nembele. I hope I said his name right. And he is playing percussion all over my album. And he's playing balafone. And I think he's been playing a little bit of Kora. This guy's a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant artist. He sings, he performs, he's just really great. Basically, well, we already went and hung out with Adama. He is great friends with Mano Dibango. If you don't know who Mano Dibango is, then just Google Mano Dibango. He wrote a song called Soul Makosa. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? When I say Mama Sana Makosa, when I say mama side of Makusa, mm -hmm. and MJ bless his heart as he rests in peace, took Praise God as his song. Then Mano Dibango went after him in 1986 and won, and he got a little paycheck from Michael Jackson. He should have gotten more because that song is huge, but you know how this stuff goes. So Mano Dibango was being celebrated because he died this year. Adama not only had a great relationship with him, he is one of his musicians in his orchestra. So we have a day in the life with Adama in rehearsal, then we hang out with him the next day, and we see him behind the scenes performing at this homage, and we get to see a great African artist. I'm not gonna tell you who. You'd have to watch the next video to find out. She is, I'll just tell you it's a she, and she's famous, and she's amazing. Anyway, so in that video, I was wanting to put a little bit of footage of Adama and myself, and I was like, wait a minute. This video is so great. We did this December 2017. This is when I sat with him, and I was living in Montmartre. Adama and I, we hung out at my house one night at like midnight, and we were trying to be very quiet, work through this song that I had written called Je dis la vérité. What does Je dis la vérité mean? It means I speak the truth. Hello, praise goddess. This is a sitting they're working out the rhythm. I hope you enjoy it. Tune in for the next video. Bye! Oh, oh, Thank <laughs> you. 